In this demonstration, we're going to be making a Perundev rotor. Something like this thing here. It's a disc with angled holes around the outer, outer surface and into which magnets are fitted. It's supposed to produce a perpetual motion machine which is impossible actually but anyway it's a, an interesting exercise for design spark mechanical so how do we put angled holes around a disc like that here we go right we're going to start with the big disc of course circle we'll make a 75 millimeter or 3 inch diameter circle and pull it to 12 millimeters thick that's our initial disc now how do we put angled holes around this surface? Well we have to make some pilot lines for that. So we're going to put them on the centre of the thickness and to do that we need to have the select tool, select one side Hold the control key and select the other side. So now we've got both sides selected. And if we press the K for sketch key, it puts a sketch plane right down the middle of the disc. And the V key makes it face us. And all we need is now a simple line line tool over here and we put a line in somewhere here now I see on the sketch uh, no I don't see it doesn't appear to be any angle on the sketch anyway I believe it looks like a bit like 30 degrees so we'll tab Oh, that's 30 degrees, so we'll make it about that deep, that deep. Got 30 degrees there, tab, and 20 millimeters long. Return. Escape. Now we go back to design mode, D key, and we see we've got a little line poking through. Select tool, and select the very end and we should see a little green dot on the end of the line. Now that means if we select the circle tool, <clears throat> we get a sketch plane at right angles to the line, right on the end of the line. So V key again, and we're going to draw more, let's say, a six millimeter circle. <coughs> sorry now back to design mode we've got a line with a disc on we're in pull mode select the surface and we want to select the cut option and we're going to sweep along this axis line. So it's asking us to be a picket trajectory, which is this here. And then full pull. And there we've got an angled hole in the edge. So now we don't need 
the curves delete don't need the surface delete got one hole in there now if we press H H and then down here we if we click on this we get it facing us so you've got the hole there we can now select, we can see our centre here, so we'll select that and now we've selected the hole we've put in. We're going to move it around, make many copies around the surface now. So we're going to create pattern, now we want a circular pattern so we have to put this anchor point just move it out of there and it will automatically align with the center of the disc. Now we've got a handle we can pull around but we've got to select create patterns. Now when we start to move that we we'll start to get a count. See the count of the, to the left there and now it's the right. It's, it's got seven. We can release and We've got the count highlighted. Now, how many of these do we want? Uh, let's say 20. Tab. And escape. Uh, now I see down here, in there, we've either gone a bit too far or the holes are too big because they're running into each other. But that, you can work out how to avoid that. We can look at them in section. Select, S key for select. Select one side. Control, select the other side. And X for section. V. Now we see here we're running into each other so we either need shorter holes or fewer actual pockets around there or you can work it out how to avoid that clash at each one but there you are that's how to make a perundev rotor of course you need a hole down the middle and that's easy enough Hope that was useful to some of you. See you again later. Bye for now. Bye.